Okay, now we go to naturals. Naturals are moderate in size. They have slightly angular and blunt bones, slightly wide bones. Wider chest area, maybe more straight hips area. Naturals look best when the hair is tousled, loose and free. They don't look as good in smooth, sleek and geometric styles normally, so as to teased styles. So Jennifer Aniston is a good example of natural. Normally she has that long hair, layered hair, and slightly tousled all the time. She sometimes has bangs, they are loose and free. Sometimes she doesn't have any bangs, which also looks very nice on her, I think. There are a couple of pictures that I found of her with blonde bob, which I think doesn't look as good on her as her longer hair. Priyanka Chopra also normally has that very free and loose hairstyles with soft bangs. So I think when she wears bangs, even though it's girlish bangs up to here, slightly wispy or slightly tousled, I don't think that she lacks that chic. You know, that simplicity really goes along with their bone structure. They don't lose anything from my viewpoint. And as you can see here, it doesn't matter what is the shape of your face. Her face is obviously on the rounder side, on a wider side. She has pretty small forehead or pretty low hairline. So I think she looks amazing without bangs as well, with those hula hoop earrings and with that hair on the back, but it's not sleek, you know, it's slightly tousled, slightly undone. So when these ladies go out with slightly undone hair, they look extremely glamorous, fresh and very good looking. We can say same thing about her longer bangs as well as her smaller bangs. Selena Gomez. She was also in Kibi's celebrities list as natural. Even though now I heard David doesn't use anymore pure naturals, pure classics, pure gamines. He now tends to go more for softer, for harder version. But anyway, we're gonna look at that example as well. Selena Gomez. She also has round face. She looks gorgeous and amazing with that lion mane hair layered, long, with long fringe. I think she looks so fresh. It doesn't matter if the bangs is very rich or slightly wispy. I think all of that looks good. It has some air in it. She had that shorter bangs. She had that longer wispy bangs, curtain bangs, we call that. And I think all of that fits her very well. The only thing I think is not for her, and maybe you can't see this on these pictures because it's just the head, probably we have to see the full body with that haircut so we would be able to judge to measure with our eyes. So I think that soft gaminish bob and small bangs don't quite reflect her essence. It is still looking cute. Her face does look cute. I think she loses her natural essence in this case because if you saw her body lower there, it's slightly from a different person, natural body. So that would not kind of fit you know, because it's always head to toe. Now we're gonna talk about flamboyant natural body type. Flamboyant naturals look tall. They have vertical line, but they're more wide than dramatics. Most of 90 supermodels are flamboyant naturals. We're gonna see several examples, but before I'm gonna remind you what David says about their best hairstyles. Loose, relaxed and free, layered and volume. Those things look amazing on them. They don't look as good with blunt and cropped hairstyles in boyish hairstyles. So let's just see some examples. Julia Roberts, that's her with that wild mane. Remember in Pretty Woman? Look how amazing that looks. Here as well, curly, wild bangs. I think she also looks good without any bangs, with more straight hair. It has some volume in it, it has some air in it, and that's enough to support that bone structure. Wispy and sleek hairstyle, especially with lighter hair. What I like here is that she's tanned, so that hair color doesn't wash her out too much, I think. So she looks quite healthy here. I would add a little bit more volume to the front hair because sometimes it gives the appearance of that very little amount of hair and the rest of the body, the visual weight is heavier. And also I found one picture of her with Bob. Again, we can't judge just by one picture. That's a lot of factors. Angle, light, outfit, colors, the facial expression. She was caught in the middle of shooting, I think. But I still think that this is too sleek and too angular for that type of women. I would just love to give her some tousled effect on her hair, even with that cut. Jennifer Lawrence, very interesting example also. That's my favorite hair color on her, is bleached blonde or very light blonde. Love it very much. I love it when she's doing a lot of volume, some waves on her hair, or even when her waves are very big, big curls. I love that big long bangs a la Bridget Bordeaux and I think that is supporting her bone structure, her large and blunt bones of her face very much like tigerish 
bones, tigerish nose, pretty powerful lips, powerful jawline and cheekbones. So I think that volume, that tousle effect that supports a bone structure very well, that lion mane. And look at this, even with more glamorous hairstyle, they made it slightly tousled and the hair color is pretty natural. So that's the best thing for flamboyant naturals, for naturals in general, to give some tousled effect even to that glam look and they look amazing with that. And I also love her with those shorter bangs as well because she always has some air in her hair. There's some undone feeling. Now let's look on some very different hairstyles on her. See that boyish haircut, very short layered hair with wispy bangs that is basically lying on the forehead. We can't even put a finger underneath. So it gives the appearance of a hat. I just don't think that that hair supports and not that bottom part of that neck situation. She needs more here. Here as well, she has that boyish haircut, like gaminish haircut. Again, I didn't find a picture of her standing like this with the rest of the body, but if we saw that, you would see what I mean. If I find the picture with her full body, we would probably see more. Here we can see that sleek and very accurate hairstyle. And again, very powerful facial bones, right? I would love to add some air to the hairstyle, but on the other hand, she looks like a very young model, like young girl. Here again, she has that very sleek and her hair looks so thin when she's wearing them like that. So thin and so much not volumized. Looks like it doesn't have any air in her hair. To me, it's a bit too stiff and too sleek. I would like to add some life to it. Now look at the very heavy and angular fringe. I actually like it. I like because it supports the bone structure, the weight of the bone structure. It balances it. Her eyes and her nose looks tiger-like. When we see the same type of a straight fringe with slightly unnatural hair color, when I say unnatural, maybe it's not very unnatural for her, but as far as the roots are bleached, it does look more unnatural. So with that blunt cut of a frame, I think it does look too angular too much like a wig. A bit more natural touch to that, maybe darker roots or a bit different styling of that fringe, maybe make it more curtain-like. I think that would change the look. And here's her without any bangs. I think looks very cute, natural, very natural on her. She doesn't lose anything. Gigi Hadid, first of all, she looks amazing without any bangs, with those long hair, natural hair color, slightly ashy blonde. She also was trying several types of wigs. We can see her here with that gaminish hairstyle, slightly rocky, slightly 80s, kind of a mullet bob with loads of layers and slightly unnatural hair color. It looks cool also, it looks funny. I just think it's slightly not her. She also had that type of wig and I think for the podium, that's marvelous idea, that's great. I just don't think it's very wearable for her in real life. She's very tall and when she walks on the street, you can see how powerful, how wide her bones are, how wide her chest area is, her hips, she looks heavy, she does look heavy in her bones. That haircut with the bangs without any air, a la swimming hat, I think that would not support all that heaviness of the bones. I think she looks very cute with all those hair bonds on top and that long fringe, flamboyant naturals look amazing with that Bridget Bordeaux-like long fringe. And also recently she made a photo shoot for Prada and she was wearing that short gaminish hair wig short boyish haircut. Again, stylization is amazing. Photoshoot is a frozen picture with certain angle, with certain clothes, with certain light. If you think that they didn't try to find good angle for that type of shoots, certain facial expressions, certain light, of course they do a lot of work on that. And again, if we imagine her that she just took a shower and she's going outside like this, probably that would not be enough hair for her. Last Lambuette natural that we're gonna look at is Cameron Diaz. Again, when she's wearing something very natural with her natural colored roots, something where you can can't find this start in the end. This is true about layered haircuts, so she has that fine and thin hair. So with that type of hairstyle, she doesn't even have to back on them too much. It's just being so relaxed, it's just lying on her shoulders like that. When she did make it sleek and she had that side swept bangs, she also tried to make it slightly tousled so it would not lie directly on her forehead. So I think it looks great. This is their glamour, you know? This is the glamour for naturals. Tousled effect. I also like her with that long blonde hair and long blonde fringe. I think it looks very natural on her as well. First of all, her natural hair color is still pretty light, light ashy blonde. So in her case, it still stays pretty much natural. If her natural hair color was black or dark brown, then we would immediately see that. That would look like a wig. So in this case, that looks 
pretty natural on her. And even though her hair is straight, it's layered, so you can't see where it starts, where it ends. Her hair is mixing with each other on the ear, so that does look very beautiful. You don't have to have very thick hair in order to make it look great if you have flamboyant natural. So in this case, I think it's too short, it's kind of soft ganinish hair, I would say. Too light, too cutie pie for her. You immediately can see that her bone structure is slightly heavier. Another interesting example, wispy fringe, very layered haircut, and very bleached artificial roots and hair in general. So when it's bleached like that, like super bleached roots, that can catch your eyes a little bit. So you can kind of notice, oh, she has such a bleached hair. Your eyes go directly to the hair, but not the look overall. That means something is sticking out. So that haircut and hairstyle was very popular in the 2000s, I think. Again, those layers, layers by the face, you kind of created the ball out of your head. It kind of went to nowhere by your neck, so... Yeah, that's what we did. That's another gamine situation on flamboyant natural's head. Again, we don't see the rest of the body. Her chest area is pretty wide. Her bones on her shoulder area is pretty wide as well. So if you saw her with that haircut and the rest of her body, you would see some disproportions maybe. Or if it's not disproportional, that it would not vibe to same direction. It will be kind of like that. Something would not match. She has bigger bones and heavier bones for that type of delicate and short hair. Now let's go for soft natural. Soft naturals are feminine and rounded. Normally they are moderate in size and they have slightly blunt bones and wider bones. Their hair looks best when it's soft and free, loosely layered, tousled, and softly sensual. They don't look as good in severe geometrics and blunt cuts, in symmetrical or boyish cuts. Let's look at some examples. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett is one of those who experimented with her hair a lot. First of all, natural hair color, especially natural roots, would always look better on them. She had kind of a mullet, slightly aggressive, punkish, very layered haircut with some longer pieces on the back, shorter on top. It's not even gaminish. I can't even call that haircut. I'm sure that was very popular, maybe again in the beginning of 2000s, I think. Definitely not for soft naturals. They have rounded features with slightly wide bones and blunt bones. Even when it grew longer, I don't think that's the best shape, basically for anyone, to be honest. I can't imagine any body type that would look very attractive with that particular type of haircut, but maybe that's just my taste. Here her veins is too short, it doesn't have enough volume and air in it. If she would go for very pin-up look, Betty Grable, she is soft natural, so she went for pin-up look very much. Katy Perry also goes for pin-up look, also soft natural, so if that's a certain stylization, then that can look amazing, but in this case her face is too feminine and too sensual for that type of chopped girly fringe. Here, I would say hair color doesn't fit. It's too unnatural for her complexion. And also earrings. So I think if that particular haircut had more natural blonde hair color and she would not have that earrings, I think she would look much more soft natural. Too severe hair color. You can notice how her natural coloration of her eyes, brows, her skin, everything fades because it has a lot of grayishness and bluishness in her complexion. And this hair color is like from a different person from a different photoshop I would say. In this case the color is also slightly artificial just because of the roots. The roots are also yellow. If the roots were darker that color would not be bad for her. Also two stiff curls and makeup. If makeup was more natural and curls were more loose I would probably make it up there on the back then that would look amazing. Here again, haircut and hair color overall just doesn't suit. Again, that bowl instead of the head, right? Those super layered short haircut from the beginning of 2000s. Chopped and slightly naughty fringe. Again, not as sensual for her because her body doesn't change. Her features, the features of her face, they don't change. They stay same when she talks, when she walks, you know? And that type of hair looks more like a helmet on her. Now look at that. I think that looks very nice on her. Slightly darker roots and that platinum blonde turns to natural hair color. That easy. Her eyes pop, her skin shines, so you can see that long fringe looks amazing here. Look at how her 
she looks. Also, I think she looks very good with longer fringe and with no fringe at all. Renée Zellweger. She doesn't almost wear any fringe, but I just have two pictures to compare. On one of them, she looks more like soft natural, with a longer fringe, more natural hair color, pretty full and rounded and very sensual, repeating her bone structure and flesh. And in this picture, again, hello to thousands. Chopped off, too wispy, too short, too boyish, too naughty, too little girlish on mama. Kat Dennings. First of all, I love that curly fringe on her. I think it looks amazing. Also, she has sometimes that long fringe, slightly rounded. I think she also looks very nice with that. And she looks very sensual without any fringe at all. And her updo is slightly tousled as well. It's not super slick, super stiff. Juliana Huff. Again, when she's wearing something chopped, too geometric, the bone structure is still larger. It's still too large for that type. She needs slightly more hair, just grow them a little bit. Slightly darker roots to make it a bit more natural. And maybe not that blunt cut. She looks good with long hair, I think, as well. With that long fringe on the side, I think it looks very feminine in her. And also, I love that bob that she made. Also with slightly darker roots, with bleached ends, with that long fringe, a lot of air, some roundness in it. And, and also here, slightly grown here.